So today we are going to be replacing a prepay meter with one that is not prepay. So let's understand how gas meters work in the first place. So the supply comes from National Grid. Very important to remember that. The supply comes from National Grid, comes to this emergency control valve where you can turn the gas on and off, and then comes up this anaconda into the meter, so into the meter, and then out of the meter and through into the property. So what is the purpose of the meter? The purpose of the meter, this one, is purely for the dial. That's it. The only thing that the meter does is gives you the numbers on the front. So as gas flows through it, it turns a cog inside and gives you the numbers on the front, which you then give to your billing company a, and then they bill you. There is actually nothing inside these meters whatsoever. There is nothing in them. They are purely nothing more than just dials on the front. And as gas flows through them, the dials change and you use those numbers to give to your billing company. These type of meters are slightly different, prepay and indeed smart meters. If you do not top up these, what they have inside them is a solenoid valve. So if your credit runs out on your card or indeed with, with smart meters that have um, solenoid valves in them that can be remotely locked, essentially what will happen is it has a valve inside that will snap shut meaning that the gas will come from the national grid to the meter here and then won't come out the other side into the property meaning you will have no gas so we are removing this one and replacing it with this one this one has no locking mechanism in it so nothing can stop the flow of gas entering the property now what you do with that information is completely up to you legally you can change anything in your own home electrics gas you are responsible for the safety of it if you want to hire somebody that's completely your choice but legally you can do anything you want in your own home um, that aside whether you can or can't do it you are completely responsible for anything to do with your gas meter anything from this control valve, control valve onwards is your responsibility this is the national grid's responsibility up to here this is now your responsibility so what we're going to do is we are going to turn off the gas the, any appliances inside the house that have gas running to them i.e a boiler or a cooker have been turned off and all we are going to do is undo this nut here and undo this nut here, as you can see, one, two, and then the gas meter will come out. That is as simple as it gets. So we shall put a spanner on here. And undo one of the nuts. Naturally, there will be a little bit of gas that's in the pipe work and the meter, and that will hiss a little bit as you undo the nuts. So undo one nut, excuse the dog next door barking, it makes it a little bit more difficult. That's one side out, difficult to do one handed. And that is that gas meter completely removed. Now what you need to be aware of is up there, as you can see, is a rubber washer on that side and one that side. That is what creates the seal between the nut and the gas meter. So we need to make sure they haven't fallen out if you change your gas meter. And then we just we'll go in reverse order. We now put that nut onto there, that nut onto there, which I will do. So that has now been screwed on hand tight then we just take a spanner and what we are doing is making sure that nut that that nut is nice and tight against that rubber washer underneath then we will turn the gas on back on again and that is job done now the gas these pipes here the pipe here and indeed this bit will still be full of air so what would be recommended would be reset your boiler a couple of times, that might error, and to go to your gas cooker and try and get it to light, to draw the, the air out of the system and fill it back full of gas. As I explained at the beginning of this video and throughout it, what you do with your gas meter is completely your choice. I'm just 
this video is purely for information about how to change a gas meter. Now, a registered or qualified, competent um, person would be able to check if there are any gas leaks on the system with this little nipple here. That can be checked with equipment. That can't be done DIY. But ultimately, the only places it can leak from are here and here because they're the only two nuts you have changed. What you can do is get fairy liquid with bubbles in it and you can spray around here and naturally if anything's leaking out of it whether it's gas or air if any kind of air is coming out of both these connections then the fairy liquid will bubble up and show you that there is a leak so that is how you replace a gas meter what you do with that information is completely your choice